a lot of uh, friends from the media as well as a lot of friends from different organizations. 好多謝各位今日參加我哋呢一個嘅新聞發佈會。咁我係 Danny， 係環節主嘅行政總監。咁我今日好高興咧，係可以做呢個發佈會嘅一個嘅誒誒司儀嘅角色。咁誒、呃、今日咧，我哋咧就係誒個目的咧，就係支持咧一個咧好重要嘅 event， 或者好重要嘅 initiative 咧，就係支持呢一個咧係增新增設嘅一個免費行醫服務。咁一陣間呢一個行醫服務嘅內容係點樣樣？點解我哋會支持咧？我哋另外嘅朋友咧就係會係同大家介紹嘅，咁或者喺佢哋講嘢之前咧，我都要介紹一下我哋在座嘅朋友啦。咁啊、uh, ，to my right is Miss Rebecca Lee、uh,。Rebecca is the executive director of C Centre。Rebecca 大家都識啦，就係、是、C Centre 係啲民政社會服務中心嘅行政總監。And、uh, Dr. Hazel Stewart。And Dr. Hazel Stewart is、um, the director of dental and oral health services from the City of Toronto。And、uh, beside on the right is、uh, Dr. Jonathan Tai, and Dr. Jonathan Tai is the dental manager of Love and Southeast Regions, and also also coming from the city of Toronto. And to the far end is、uh, Mr. Darwin Kwong. Darwin Kwong is the executive director of TCCSA, the Toronto the Chinese Community Service Association. Ah,、uh, Darwin 咧就係誒多華會嘅行政總監。嗱咁咧，事不宜遲啦。咁咧，我而家就將我個麥咧就交俾阿 Rebecca。Rebecca 咧就會咧同我哋咧係做一個嘅開場嘅説話。咁所以，我就 pass the mic to Rebecca and to give us the opening remark. So Rebecca.、Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your coming, especially about the media friends. So for your support. So we are doing the advocacy for the Chinese community set、uh, communities. So we need your Have and also the words、uh, through your mouth and your wording to the community. Ah,、uh, 多謝傳媒界嘅朋友，多謝誒三個會嘅董事能夠出席今日嘅記者招待會。咁啊， uh, 今日嘅記者招待會咧，其實誒、uh, 由三個服務機構聯同埋呢個市政府嘅公共衞生部咧一齊發布嘅。咁今日個會個目的係乜嘢咧？其實誒、uh, ，我哋都大家都知道喺誒舊市未合併之前嘅九多倫多市咧，啊、uh, 成十幾廿年來咧都有呢個免費嘅牙齒服務，係俾疲勞同埋中小學生以下嘅朋誒小朋友嘅。咁誒、uh, 新移民當然可以享用到呢種嘅服務啦，特別佢當初嚟到時候未有呢個牙齒嘅護理嘅時候咧，就可以做到。但係咧，自從誒五市合併咗之後咧，咁誒多倫多市嗰個牙齒服務咧，有部分咧已經伸展到誒士加堡或者其他嘅地區，但係喺北約克區咧就冇呢一種服務嘅。咁誒，我哋三個會都有機會係服務誒俾誒呢個誒北約克市嘅居民嘅。咁我哋誒自己協群中心咧，喺北約克有個辦事處，我自己嘅會員咧，亦都有要用呢啲咁嘅免費服務嘅誒誒牙齒護理啦。咁佢哋就要周居勞頓，就落翻去單攤。咁我知道誒，亦、呃、都有部分嘅居民咧，就去到斯加博就使用。咁喺呢一方面咧，我哋感覺到點解佢哋要周居勞頓而去到？誒單攤或者去到斯加博嚟到用，但係冇可能喺北約克區嚟到使用咧咁。第二個原因咧，就話喺啊呢個舊嘅北約克市政府、呃、市長嘅辦公室嗰度係有空置嘅地方嘅。咁有嘅地方點解唔可以將個地方咧就可以、呃、改裝變成呢個牙齒護誒誒護理嘅診所咧咁？咁我哋三個會大家商量過之後咧，就覺得應該要俾社區人士知道呢一樣嘢，亦都應該向、呃、市政府嘅牙齒誒呢、呃這個、呃、公共衞生部反映。當然啦，我諗大家都知道喺呢區嘅市議員已經發起咗喺市議會裏面講起呢件事嚟噶，咁亦都係動議希望市政府或者市議會裏面嘅獨誒誒 c o 就明白呢個需要。咁所以咧，就希望能夠去誒、呃、討論嚟到通過嘅。咁我哋今日亦都係好開心咧，就市政府嘅公共衞生部有兩位代表坐喺我哋中間
咁可能佢會尋盡介紹下呢種咩叫免費牙齒護理服務呢。佢個內容係乜嘢？乜嘢人可以誒嚟、呃、到使用嘅咧？咁佢就會作一個詳述嘅介紹嘅。咁但我哋三個會，即係包括多華會、華資處、協群社區社會服務中心，我哋可以講話，我哋係、呃、多倫多市居民嘅後舌嚟嘅。我哋需要同佢哋講，佢哋係可以公平去爭取呢一樣嘅服務。所以咧，我哋今日就召集呢、這個、呃高啊！呢、这個新聞發佈會就希望借助傳媒界嘅朋友，幫我哋將呢樣嘢呢個信息發表俾、啊、大家知道。Well, Rebecca has、uh, previously speaking basically Rebecca the reasons why these three organisations is coming together again, and the, the, what we really want to do is we really want to appeal to the community and appeal to the council, especially through the media. That's why we really think that and we really support the idea that we should have a dental services. In the city of North York, but exactly what is the dental services going to, and what is this cover, and how does it work? So I think I would appreciate if um, uh, Dr. Stewart and Dr. Tai could really brief us and give us some briefing about uh, what exactly it is going to be. So, uh, Dr. Stewart, you want to say a few words for us? Sure. We are going to ask Dr. Stewart to tell us some words. He will explain to us what is this dental services service, and how it is going to be set up, and what the plan is going to be. Well, first I'd like to say, first I'd like to say thank you very much for inviting me to be at this conference, this press conference.、Um, I'd like to just brief you a little bit, or give you a little bit of history about the dental services in North York. Since 1937, the city of North York has been providing dental treatment services, screening services, and prevention services. In elementary schools, so that's about 68 years old、uh, that this program has been there. The problem is in 1998, when we amalgamated and we formed this beautiful city of ours,、um, the dental program in the former city of Toronto included adolescents, high-risk mothers, and seniors. The other areas of the city didn't have the program, and so since that time. We have been harmonizing the services across the city. We've been successful in the other regions of the city, except for North York. There is now an opportunity for us to harmonize the program in North York, so that seniors, adolescents, and high-risk moms can have dental <coughs> services closer to home. So this is why we're here today to ask the community and to. to Um, advocate to the community to hear the from the community the,、uh, how much they support this change in the way we deliver services in North York. What that would mean is that we would no longer deliver services in schools, and we would locate a clinic at the North York Civic Center, and then、uh, residents would and families would be able to travel to that clinic to obtain. Dental services. Recently, Councillor Sherry, Shelley Carroll、um, moved a motion at the Toronto Public Health Board of Health and、um, requested the Toronto Public Health to look at the feasibility of establishing this clinic. And so, we're in the process of looking at that. And an important part of that is to get a reaction from our community. I'm very pleased and I'm very impressed to learn that three major Chinese community organizations, CCCs, the Center, and、um, TCCSA, are working together with Toronto Public Health on this issue. It really helps us to understand what the community needs are and to address these needs in an appropriate manner.、Um, I'd just like to explain to you who, are, who is eligible for the dental services.、Um, elementary school children and preschool children are eligible for the city's dental program. To be eligible, you must not have dental insurance, and you must not be able to afford to pay for this service yourself. The,、uh, you should be enrolled in an elementary school if you are of school age. As well, 
seniors are eligible. If you're 65 years and older and you do not have dental insurance and you cannot afford to pay for dental services, you're eligible for dental treatment services in the city's dental program. We also see mothers who are enrolled in public health programs and who do not have dental insurance and who need to see the dentist. The nurse or your public health nurse, your nutritionist or any one of the, uh, the family home visitor can refer you to the dental program and we will see you. Um, for seniors, I'd just like to add that if you're single, your income should be $16,750 or less. And if you're a couple, your income should be $25,000, $25,500 or less. So the, where we are in the process is that we're putting together a report to go to the Board of Health. And we're hoping to be on the May agenda. If not, we'll be on the June agenda to get approval from the Board of Health to locate the clinic in the North York Civic Center. If this is approved, then we will start and we will try our best to have service delivered from the site as soon as we're able to get the clinic up and running. Thank you very, very much. And um, I just want to say, please work with your community. Um, these community organizations, I think they have a petition that you're circulating. Please work with them and let us know exactly what your uh, ideas and what your support is for this um, change in the way we deliver services in North York. Thank you. I'm going to try my uh, Mandarin today, so if you could just bear with me today. 我们有这个机会在这个地方大家见面非常高兴我有一个希望是说希望我们在北岳科的华人可以快接起来在五月二日以前在社区服务中心签名我是有个希望是说在北岳科可以开一个免费提供牙齿诊所如果你们有什么问题的话我会慢慢的回答你们等一下谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢
。咁此外咧，就其他譬如話一啲係誒所謂屬於高危嘅誒嘅婦女啊，或者一啲嘅高危嘅單身嘅家庭嘅即係嘅嘅媽媽咧，都係佢哋嘅服務範圍之內嘅。咁當然有邊啲人真正係可以合資格咧？誒、呃，稍後你哋可以同我哋提問題啦。另外咧，亦都係可以咧，係誒佢哋都可以通過咧，係誒社區衞生部佢哋嘅 public nurse， 即係佢哋嘅公共衞生護士啦，係做一個咁嘅專家服務咧，俾到你噶。咁誒，所以佢哋最後亦都呼籲啦，即係大家睇到呢個服務好需要。咁但係喺資源嘅困乏底下咧，就一定係要爭取到咧，係市政府將呢個樣嘢咧係擺喺一個所謂優先嘅次序。咁所以我哋都係咧做咗呢一個嘅簽約行動。就希望可以咧，係作為一個支援啦，係可以支持到咧衞生部咧，爭取到呢個資源啦，設立呢一個嘅護理診所。咁誒，如果大家有問題咧，陣間可以咧係繼續發問嘅。咁最後咧，我就係交俾阿 Darwin 啦。咁 Darwin 咧就會同我哋咧係啊 say a few words。So Darwin, would you please say a few thank you, Dr. Rush? Thank you, Tony. Good morning, friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Fee Social Service Agency, in support of the Fee Dental Clinic. We are grateful to the many local organizations and people who have helped things out. We are particularly happy to see so many residents in North York area come together and express their hopes to have a free dental clinic. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Stewart and Dr. Tai, who have given a very clear account of services of the possible future clinic. We are also grateful to the friends from media who will help us in drawing Western's attention to care about their rights. Now, unity is false. We hope that the full participation of more residents to sign up to support of the establishment, we shall be able to have a dental clinic that may be benefit to people who are living in the nearby communities. And uh, immediately after this uh, video conference, Light refreshment will be served. Please stay with us and have a chat with other guests. Once again, thank you for coming. Um, 其實大家即係誒都多謝大家今日嚟到呢度啦。咁咧就誒喺新聞稿上面咧，我哋都誒同大家提到咧，就係喺北約克而家人口咧就大概係有誒六十五萬五千人嘅。咁而呢個誒老人家嗰個數目咧，大概係十五點五個 percent。而即係八至到十九歲，頭先啊 Dr. Hayes 講咗就係嗰個年齡啦，適合即係攞呢個誒、呃、免費牙醫嗰個服務嗰、那個牙齒服務嗰個年齡咧，係誒八至十九歲嗰人咧有大概十八點六個 percent 嘅。咁而呢兩組人加埋嘅人數咧，大概有二十二萬，即差唔多超過三十幾個 percent。咁所以咧呢一部分咧，我哋就希望可以能夠咧就嗰、那個。免費牙醫診所咧，可以能夠盡早、盡快咁樣，即係喺北約克區落實。咁我都希望咧嚇，即係頭先誒阿 Dr. Tai 都提過，就係大家能夠即係傳媒嗰方面幫手，同埋誒幾個機構咧就係幫手，希望可以即係引起各界人士同埋呢個喺特別喺約克區住嘅居民咧，多啲嘅反應同埋表達佢嘅意見，希望呢個免費嘅牙醫診誒牙齒診所咧可以盡早咁樣落成。Uh, it's time for questions and answers. So, uh, any questions from the floor? Uh, hey. Uh, what kind of de demand level for this kind of service? Because you are adding a new new location in North York. Is it because the, the current location, current clinics does not meet the demand? So that needs another one. Well, the reason why we want to locate, sorry, thanks. Uh, the, the reason why we want to locate here in North York is that currently people who are eligible for the city's program who live in North York have to travel to one of the other 13 clinics to get service. So they would have to either go to Scarborough, go to downtown Toronto, or go to Etobicoke to, to get service. So by putting the clinic here, then they would reduce the travel and it would give them easier access to the service. Is there a demand for the service? Yes, there is. Thank you. The last question is, how much is it really important for the Bukhya Hakkri? Dr. Stewart has already told us that the first one is that the Bukhya Hakkri is needed for this service. They need to go to downtown, or they need to go to the most close to the Scarborough Town Center to get this service. But 
係呢個服務係真係有需要咧，咁我諗啊 ，Dr. Stewart 好清楚講咧，就係佢哋睇到呢個服務嘅需要係存在嘅，點啊？那么这个免费诊所，如果免费诊所的服务对象是 North 呃北约克这边的吗 ？Okay, well the question is well is is the target group or well I think the target group is the resident of North York, but are they confined to the residents of North York? No, not just the, the clinics would offer service to anybody who lives in the city of Toronto. You have the choice of going to any one of the city clinics. 任何多倫多嘅市民都可以咧使用呢個服務嘅，嗎？誒，呢次徵集簽名活動，你哋嘅徵集目標又話要集到好多人簽名，幾大一個。第二咧，因為呢、這個誒、呃、免費服務咧，都涉及到整個北洋客各個族裔，咁但係呢次活動點解考慮只係有三個或或者社區嘅個發起冇誒邀請到佢其他族裔？ Uh, okay, well, the question should be answered by us, but basically the question is, well, first of all, are there are targets for this petition, and also is why is only three organizations involved in this process. So I, I, I think I'll do the answer. Okay. Basically, the first thing is that this is a very positive event. So you said we have a target or a standard? So we have a standard. 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 我哋咧係誒有呢個需要嘅，咁但係我哋係咪需要誒、呃、聯絡好多人咧？其實我哋做一樣嘢唔係單係咧開記者會或者係做呢個簽名運動嘅。其實我哋都知道咧，好多其他嘅唔同嘅服務機構啦、唔同嘅組織咧，佢哋咧都會有咧係做同樣嘅嘢，或者係寫支持嘅信咧，係俾咧市政府誒、呃、醫務衛生委員會嘅。咁另外咧，其他族裔同樣地咧係做緊一樣嘢嘅，譬如話咧。誒、呃，我哋睇到南亞裔嘅，譬如斯南卡裔嘅同事誒嘅嘅社區啦，誒、呃、韓國社區啦，佢哋全部咧都係有參與咧，喺唔同嘅層面係做緊呢樣嘢。咁今日我哋係所謂代表咧，我哋唔敢話我哋代表華人社區，不過咧最低限度代表緊咧，我哋呢三個社團咧服務嘅對象，我哋呢三個社團所代代表嘅會員咧，係我哋會支持呢一個嘅活動。咁呢個活動本身係亦都冇一個所謂嘅誒、嗯、所謂排斥性嘅。任何嘅社團都可以咧，係繼續支持。我相信咧，市政府亦都多歡迎咧，係更加多嘅社團參與，亦都係更加多嘅支持信咧，可以寫到俾我哋嗰個嘅誒市政府咧，係誒講明咧，我哋對呢個服務嘅殷切嘅。其實我想補充少少，呢、這個誒簽名支持運動啦，點解由我哋三個機構誒做，係向誒華人社區嚟到講咧？因為誒，好似頭先啊 ，Danny 話，其他社區族裔咧都已經做緊㗎啦。咁佢哋已經做緊簽名運動，咁今次咧，我哋亦都係我哋三個華人就專係希望針對華人，因為好多住喺北約克區，或者甚至唔係淨係住喺北約區嘅居民，都有部分人未必知道呢個誒免費嘅牙齒誒護理服務嘅誒中心嘅，咁所以咧就話我哋三個今次咧就希望向我哋自己嘅服務使用者或者非服務使用者都知道呢件事。希望透過你媒介嘅朋友幫我哋將佢宣傳，咁因為咧誒時間好倉促噶啦，冇乜時間噶啦。誒五月二號之前咧，我哋要將我哋啲簽名嘅誒請願信咧，就要去到市政府噶啦，所以得翻幾日時間，我哋更加需要。當然而家我哋已經每個中心都設咗個簽名冊喺度嘅，就希望大家誒。呃到個中心嘅都會簽名，咁但而家透過今日你哋可能聽日明見報或者喺電台或者喺電視見到嘅時候，能夠呼籲更多人嚟到、呃、三個中心度繼續簽名嘅。Yeah, I think you need you need community support and resources and like money to set up this clinic. Is is how is the money already there or how much do you need? Um. To renovate the space that we're looking at in the North York Civic Center will require about $100,000 to $120,000. And what we're doing is looking within our budget and we'll have to make some choices here. Uh, we'll have to decide whether we'll delay doing some things we had planned to do this year to free up the money to do this, or whether we, once approved, will put this in the budget, the capital budget, for next year, 2006. So that's the approach that we're taking as we're doing this feasibility study. 
。我諗 Doctor Stewart 嘅回應關於錢或者資源嘅回應就話，成立間咁嘅診所咧，基本上喺嗰個資本嘅支出咧，大概都要十幾萬啦。咁當然而家佢做緊一個就係一個可行性嘅研究啦。咁如果加上有社區嘅支持，佢哋就會係同市政府再傾咧，就係資源嗰個分配。又或者咧，會唔會將呢一個嘅需要咧，係擺落去今年或者今年或者明年嘅 budget 裏邊去做咧？咁樣，但我諗最重要一樣嘢就係話，市政府要聽到市區誒社區嘅呼聲，就係話我哋係需要呢一個服務。The people that who are qualified are people you must reside in the city of Toronto.、Um, you must be zero、uh, to eighteen years old and attending school if if you're school age and older. And you must be 65 years and older. And you, there are some income requirements for seniors. If you're a single, it's you, your income must be $16,750 or less. And if you're a couple, your income should be $25,500 or less. We also will see hiring mothers who are enrolled in public health programs. But they need to be referred to the service by their public health nurse, the nutritionist, or the family home visitor, or one of the, the public health staff who is managing or delivering the program that they're enrolled in. So those are the people who are eligible for the city's dental program. As well, they shouldn't. You should not have private insurance, or you should not be able to afford. Pay for dental services out of pocket. So, I think Dolan Dolan actually has about ten dental offices in the city. So, actually, because you know, Dolan Dolan is also the city's capital. So, it's quite big. So, first of all, we talked about the city has about sixty thousand residents. So, if we can have this dental office in the city, it will be the most expensive dental service in the city. So, I believe it will be the most expensive dental service in the city. So, I believe it will be the most expensive dental service in the city. So, I believe it will be the most expensive. 誒、呃、呢、这個診所唔係淨係服務呢個約克區嘅人嘅啊。多謝誒，請問你哋估計喺北約克區嘅人口之中，大約有幾多係誒、呃、體牙係需要誒、呃、？sorry， 你問我喺北約克區估計有幾多人係需要呢啲免費牙齒嘅服務度咧？而係其中有幾邊一類人係會佔多數？ Well, the question is, well, uh, do we have an estimation of, say, uh, how many people in North York would be eligible for these free services and how many of them will use these services if there is such an establishment in the future? Currently, um, there are about 5,000 children who um, are using the services in the schools. Um, as far as the seniors go, we know there are about uh, 2,000 seniors that are going to the clinics in the other parts of the city to get services. Um, I would imagine that once the service is located in North York, we will see the utilization increase and if the media um, you know, gets the message out and people are aware of the service, uh, more people who are eligible for the service will start to get good dental care. I would just like to stress to you that um, there, there is 654,000 people living in North York and um, there are about 15% seniors uh, over 65. So that means that North York has quite a sizable seniors population. Um, so I would imagine that once the word is out, those people who are eligible and who probably could not travel all the way to the other clinics to get service will find it a lot easier to get care. I'd just like to stress the importance of oral health. Um, I always use this opportunity to let people know that um, we're just finding out through, through research the effect of poor oral health on your general health. Oral, oral health contributes to heart problems. There are, co there are common risk factors, it's called, for heart problems, for digestive problems, um, for low birth weight, etc. So it's important for people to get good dental care and make sure that their mouths are healthy because it does contribute to your general health and your general sense of well-being.
Thank you, Dr. Stewart. Uh, 剛才 Dr. Stewart 咧就簡單講咧，就用而家佢哋嘅資料嚟講咧，而家喺 North York 咧就已經有五千個嘅誒、呃、學童咧，五千個嘅學童咧就用緊佢哋嘅啊似乎嚟服務嘅。再加上咧，佢哋嘅統計咧有二千個嘅長者咧係去到 North York 以外嘅地區咧係攞到呢個服務嘅。咁即係光係跟住呢個數字咧，已經發覺咧嗰個需要係非常之大啦。咁再加上咧，我哋以翻北約克區嘅人口有近接近六十五萬嘅人口嚟講咧，當中咧有有十五個 percent 咧係老人家啦，有十八個 percent 咧係八歲至十九歲嘅小朋友啦，或者係青年人啦。咁其實我哋估計，當有呢一個設施，亦都當呢一個信息係帶咗出嚟之後咧，嗰、那個嘅服務需要咧，或者需求咧，會係更加增加嘅。咁最後咧 ，Dr. Stewart 咧再一次咧強調咧，就口腔護理嗰個嘅重要性。因為咧，據好多嘅調查研究顯示咧，口腔嘅健康咧，直接咧係同人嘅其他健康咧係連上一個好大關係嘅，包括咗你嘅心臟嘅問題啦，你嘅消化系統嘅問題啦，同埋咧生育率嘅問題咧，都會咧係同呢一個咧口腔嘅健康咧非常之重要嘅。咁就、呃、基本上咧，我哋係仲有好多時間咧，係可以喺記者會之後咧同大家交談噶。咁再一次多謝各位傳媒朋友嘅出席，亦都好多謝咁多位咧係誒誒 Dr. Stewart 啦，同埋 Dr. Kai 咧係今日出席。So thank you again for all the media friends and for coming to this press. Well, as you know, um, access to dental treatment services is really a benefit of employment or of wealth. And the City of Toronto has been um, trying to address the gaps in dental services for those groups that need dental treatment services and who cannot afford to pay for it themselves. So the city has a program for children who are 0 to 18 years old, enrolled in elementary schools or in high schools, as well as seniors who are 65 years and older. And um, they, we have 13 dental clinics located across the city, and people can access service by coming there. We offer very basic treatment services, fillings, extractions, dentures, root canal on critical teeth. Do you have any statistics about like the overall identity health for, the, for everybody and not just for the kids and the seniors? No, we don't have statistics and that's one of the gaps in, in, in dental care and in dental health in the, in the city and I would say across Canada. We don't have statistics on the population. We only have statistics statistics on the children in schools okay. and so seniors. For like kids and seniors, what about their level? They are deteriorating or they are improving their standard right now? Well, what we're finding is that those children who are born here in Canada and who have had the benefit of fluoride in the water have very good general health, very good uh, dental health, oral health. Children who are born outside of, of, of Canada and um, who did not have access to regular care tend to have poor oral health. And I want to say not all of them because some of them have had access to, to regular care and come with good health. But we find that the majority of them do have poor health and those are the kids that we're trying to reach to and get Get, get them healthy so they're ready to learn when they get to school. So when, what's the important level of the like, dental oral services compared to the overall like, cancer and you know, serious disease? Well, I think I would say that just all of us have had some experience or know somebody who has had some or some dental health. It's probably one of the most prevalent um, diseases of, in, in the population. I, we know in children that uh, dental disease is a higher rate than asthma, than cancer, than all the various different uh, chronic illnesses combined. 
So, you know, it's very, very prevalent there. And, and, and you know, we would really like to improve the health of our children and improve their ability to, to learn, to smile, to socialize, because that's the importance of all of that. Okay. Thank you, Mr.